The Radi WF100C is a modern weather station made for us radio amateurs. Since information about the current weather is the most frequent topic during our conversation, so I also use the weather station. A nice cardboard box contains three books manuals written in English, German and French. In addition, there is also a very easy to understand picture guide for the initial installation of the device and connecting the weather station to Wi-Fi. The display unit is nicely packed and the screen is protected by a phone. Uh, there is a flip-up holder on the back of the display, which I was a little worried about breaking. The max min, alarm, set mode and snooze buttons are located on the right edge of the display unit. Here you can see also the socket for uh, external power supply. On the back of the display there is also space for backup batteries that keep data and settings in memory in the event of a power outage. In the box we can also find a secondary measuring unit for measuring temperature and humidity. Under the cover you will find space for two AAA batteries and a jumper field. By combining individual switches the desired channel is set so it is possible to monitor several such units at once. Also included in the box are plastic brackets for mounting on the pipe and set of fixing screws. The multifunctional measuring unit is equipped with a thermometer, a wind speed meter, an antenna, a sensor for amount of rainwater, a spirit level for correct installation of the unit, and the wind direction sensor. On the south side of the measuring unit there is a solar light power sensor and UV sensor. And there is also an external power supply in the box. The funnel for the rainwater quantity sensor can be removed for possible maintenance. There you can see also the sensor itself inside the unit. The display unit requires three AAA backup batteries. A Phillips screwdriver is required to open the battery cover on the underside of the multifunction meter. There is a rubber seal around the battery hole. Three pieces of thicker AA batteries need to be inserted into the unit. There is also a reset button on the bottom of the unit, which also serves as a signaling LED. A two pieces of thinner AAA batteries need to be inserted into the secondary measuring unit. The temperature and humidity will appear on a small LCD display. Another three pieces of thinner AAA batteries will serve in the display unit as a backup of data and settings in the event of a power outage. Before assembling the console, always plan how the weather station will be installed. I recommend using the attached picture manual. Two included long screws with nuts will be used to fix the plastic boom to the brackets.
and a second screw to the measuring unit body. I had to find four extra aluminium screws to mount the unit, in my case, to the plastic box just below my antenna tower. This is how I attach this to the box. Always keep in mind that this installation will have to withstand harsh weather conditions such as hailstorms. And now let's finally see how it will look in the final for me. So, let's turn on the main display unit, or receiver, and it looks amazing. Let's see what it shows us. An outdoor temperature and humidity, indoor temperature and humidity measured directly on the main unit, indoor sensor temperature and humidity, UV index and sunlight energy, then amount of rain, an air pressure, graphic weather forecast, wind gust speed, an average wind direction, which is measured in meters per second. And finally, the feeling temperature and dew point. The current phase of the moon is also displayed. And of course, I will not leave out my favorite part either. And finally, the most interesting feature of this weather station the possibility of connecting to a Wi-Fi network and sharing data in real time on the Internet. For the next procedure, I recommend following the attached picture manual. Links to real-time data from my weather station can be found on my qrz.com or in the description of this video. And this is a sample of the data from my weather station after clicking the link below this video. In conclusion, I would like to note that this video is not sponsored by the manufacturer or any seller and this device was purchased in full. I attached the link where you can also buy it to the video description. Thank you for your watching this video and if you like it I will be grateful for every like or subscription to my channel. I wish you a nice day and see you next time.